Sometimes you need a nice button in your .NET MAUI app that's got both an image or an icon and some text on the same button. Now if you're like me, you've probably been creating these laboriously yourself with borders and gesture recognizers. You don't need to do any of that. Let's take a look at the easy way. So I've got an app running here using the default .NET MAUI template. It's got a button on it that says click me. I can click it and I can see the counter going up. That's great, but I'd love it if there was a little icon here as well. Now it's really easy to have text uh, or an image because you can use image button, but you can do two on the same button, right? So if you're like me, you know, what I've been doing in the past is using borders and gesture recognizers to effectively recreate this whole thing. So let's have a look at what that looks like. So uh, if we have a look here at the main page code, this is the button that you get out of the box. I'm going to comment that out for now. I'm not going to get rid of it because I'm actually going to reuse it. But let's take a look at uh, how I would have done this before. So I'm just pasting in this code here. I'm using a border. Now, the button has all of this stuff defined in the style. But when I'm using a border, I've got to do all this myself. So I have to have the background color with the app theme binding. Same for the stroke, stroke shape. Of course, I have to add the semantic properties. I have to add a gesture recognizer. And I have to add a stack layout. And then I've got the two labels. So the one is for the icon. Uh, I'm using the Fluent icons, which I've registered here uh, in my Maui program, and I've, I've imported already here. And then I've got a label that says Click Me. So if I save that, Hot Reload should pick that up. And now I've got my icon button. There's already a problem here because the text color is not using the right app theme binding. Uh, and the gesture recognizer isn't working. This may be a Hot Reload issue, but this uh, does in fact work. Um, you can see that I've given it the counter button name here, same as the button, so that that uh, event handler will trigger an update on that text property there. It's not working. This is probably a hot reload issue, so let's just restart it and make sure that it works before I then go and show you the easy way. So I can click it and it's working as expected. Uh, of course, the app theme binding not quite right. I've got more to fix up here with the, the colors as well. But still, that's uh, a bit painful. So let's get rid of that. And let's look at the easy way. So just make sure the button is back and working. Again, hot reload issue. So I'm just going to stop it now, and then we'll start it and see what happens. Now, it's really easy to have a text button, and it's really easy to have an image button. But you can actually have both in the same button. Let's look at how. So first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this and close it explicitly. And inside here, I'm just going to add an image because you can do that with an image button, but you can do it with a regular button as well. So I'm going to go button dot image source. And in here, I'm going to add font image source. And the font family is going to be Fluent Icons, which as you saw, I registered in Maui program. And the glyph, I already know. Uh, so you, as I said, I showed you in the border earlier, you would look it up with something like icon font to code. I already know what it is, so I'm just going to type it in. And it's going to be uh, ampersand hash x. And I think this one is e452. And that's it. That's almost it. There's one more thing to do, right? So the only other thing that I have to do now is tell the button where I want this laid out and how. So I can add a, a property here called content layout. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to say I want it to be on the left and I want spacing of 10. And that's it. So XAML Styler is uh, uh, inlining this here for me, but that doesn't matter. So let's run this now and let's see what happens. So we saw before that I was uh, creating my own button using a border and gesture recognizers. Color wasn't quite right. This time, it's literally just using the built-in button. You can see that this is much less code. I haven't had to reinvent the wheel, do all the styling because it's just built into the button. And there it is. And I click it and it works. I don't know about you, but I think that's a lot easier. I'm going to use this in all my apps now. Are you going to? I'm sure you are. Thanks for watching. I'm Matt Goldman.